the most obvious answer to that question seems to be yellow. The works by Vincent that went on to become the most famous were made in yellow colours. He painted them in the sun French town of Arles, capturing the sunflowers, the yellow house and the vast landscapes with wheat fields, sowers and mowers under a blistering sun. So Vincent certainly loved yellow, but he actually liked all colours. Vincent used bold, bright colours in his pictures from his French period, and it's these colours that come to mind when we think of him. But before his time in France, he made much darker pictures. Most people say that these early Dutch works aren't as colourful, but if you take a closer look, you can find colour everywhere in Vincent's work. In the summer of 1884, Vincent threw himself into studying the laws of colour and into books about colour theory. Vincent learned that complementary colours, colours from opposite sides of the colour wheel, red and green, blue and orange, yellow and purple, that these colours intensify each other when placed together. As he wrote to his brother Theo in November 1885, I'm utterly preoccupied with the laws of colour if only we'd been taught them in our youth. In Vincent's Dutch period, this colour theory is still to make an impact in his work. This is because instead of using the complementary colours next to each other, he mixed them into, let's say, muddy colours. Vincent's use of colour changed when he went to Paris, where Impressionism and modern painting were all the rage. It was all about using a bright colour palette. When Vincent saw Impressionists and Pointillist paintings with his own eyes in Paris, he swapped the darker tones on his palette for brighter, unmixed colours. It was a real game changer for Vincent. His colours intensified and became more powerful. Key to Vincent's use of colour was the idea that painters didn't need to use the actual colours in order to create a convincing illusion of reality. He became famous for his expressive colouring and free personal choice of colours. Vincent wrote to his brother Theo, a painter does well if he starts from the colours on his palette instead of starting from the colours in nature. Colour expresses something in itself, he said. The change in his use of colour is clear to see in a self-portrait from 1887-1888, which is dominated by the primary colours yellow and blue. In 1888, Vincent predicted that the painter of the future is a colourist such as there hasn't been before. As it turned out, he himself was that painter. Vincent became a guide for a new generation of colour seekers.